Okay, that was almost like a meltdown because I got um a dip out all over my mouth. So anyways, so what I do is I put some on the back of my hand and then dip my brush in it. And I take off most of the excess product. I'm sorry if you can see my mirror. My eyebrows just don't always cooperate. I mean, like, honestly, like, some days they're like, yeah, they're, you know, ready to take on the world, start a new life, a new family, you know? And then some days they're just, like, slacking, you know? Sitting on the corner, waiting for life to happen. But I'll do a more in-depth video of this because I feel like this is something that people ask me all the time. So I'm using the Anastasia concealer in the 1.0. I talked about this in my favorites video. Okay. So what I do is I get a good amount on the concealer brush and just start carving them out. I like to take my it's a little dirty but I'll make it work um, I like to take my Sigma uh, 3D HD precision brush yeah I don't think it has a number on it but yeah it's this little brush right here um, it's kind of like a small kabuki brush and I like to use it for my MAC uh, paint pot in soft ochre so, take some of that, and I remember that I don't have my mirror, oops, okay, so like I said, I load up that on my brush, and then cover my lid and kind of buff it out. Anyways, okay, so now I'm gonna set the paint pot base with a mixture of vanilla and banana powder from the Anastasia contour kit. And I pat it on, not wipe it. Cause you don't wanna sweep the product off. But this helps, I never did this before, but then I heard, um, I can't remember who it was. I think it was Desi Perkins, who likes to set it first cause it helps blend it better, which I always wondered that because like when I first got, I never used to use a base. I used to always use just like concealer and then set that. But then when I got the, um, when I got the paint pot, I, I really need to learn how to look into the freaking lens. Um, anyways, uh, when I got the paint pot, I was using it and stuff and I just felt like, I don't know, when you try to blend your shadows, it kind of pulls a little bit at your eyelid, but I feel like when you set it, then it like looks a lot better. Um, for blending wise. Okay, All right, so I don't really know what I'm gonna do eyeshadow wise, but um, these are like my everyday essential brushes. Um, I will list below what they are, but these I use these eyeshadow brushes every single day. Um, some are Morphe, some are Sigma, I think maybe one is MAC, and then I think I have just like a random Sephora brush, but it's a good like blending brush. I'm just gonna start 
winging it. Okay, so for a crease color, I'm gonna use my Sigma E40 brush. Oh, you can barely even see the writing on it anymore. I'm gonna use my Sigma E40 brush, and I am going to buff Makeup Geek. Ooh. Unexpected. Oh god. Yeah, I'm gonna use Makeup Geek Unexpected eyeshadow. It's right there. It's really pretty, like I don't know, cool toned mauvey color. Almost like got a little purple in it. So I'm gonna use that and put that all in my crease. The M441 brush. It's just kind of like a fluffy brush. I need a new one. It's a little bit fluffed out, but anyway, so then I'm gonna take um let's see. I believe the shade, I don't know the shade of my makeup. Oh, cupcake. I'm gonna take the shade cupcake, which is kind of like a cool tone pink. I'm just kind of randomly doing colors right now, so it is that one right there. And again, I'm going to put that in the crease. I'm going to focus it towards the outer corner. I'm not really going to bring this one in. And what I realized, I really want to do some looks with glitter, and I know a lot of people have asked me to do that, but I don't have any glitter glue and I don't know how that's even possible because I love glitter but I don't have any right now so I need to go and get some let me know if you guys have any suggestions on what I can use in the meantime so cold and I know that I'm such a whiner because I live in California and I don't even know what cold is because I know people are like dealing with like blizzards right now, but okay. I'm so cold. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with the Sigma E40 brush again and just buff that all out. It has no additional product on it. I'm just blending above the crease and just making sure it's all seamlessly blended and there's no harsh lines. Okay, I don't really know where I left off, but I had to switch memory cards because I ran out of space. So anyways, back to packing on Cosmopolitan all over the lid. same um let's see morphe m433 brush yeah m433 and i'm gonna go in with the shade i honestly don't remember what the shade is called it's from makeup geek uh vintage by makeup geek i'm gonna take that it's kind of like a dark mauve color and i'm just gonna deepen the crease a little bit Keep it, again, mainly towards the outer corner. Really light pressure. And just blend that out. Take a little bit more and do the other eye. So, and we'll take, this is a, this is a Sephora crease, crease brush. I don't even know um, when I got it, probably from a family member or something for Christmas. I'm not sure, I've had it forever. So I'm just gonna blend out that crease a little bit more, make sure all the lines are seamless. 
Then we're gonna take the M431 brush and we're going to take the shade Ice Queen from Makeup Geek. It's that one right there. And we're gonna take that and we're gonna pack that on the inner tear duct. And then I'm going to take my Morphe um, M432 brush, which is like a flat definer brush, and I'm going to take that vintage shade by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to go along my lower lash line. Really only focusing on the outer fourth of my eye. And then I'm going to take my Sigma Medium Sweeper brush and I'm going to go into the color let's see, Petal Pusher. And this is by Makeup Geek and it's again like kind of like a mauve shade. It's really light. And I'm going to blend out that lower lash line. I'm gonna put on some winged eyeliner. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna do winged. I think I'm just gonna do like a light, just like one line of eyeliner. I'm gonna do it off camera because I honestly, there's just no way, it's just not gonna happen. So I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna come back um, and finish up the look. Okay, so I already went ahead and put on my lashes and lower lash uh, mascara, or I put on, I put on a couple of coats of mascara, put on my lashes to finish all that up, um, and now I'm just gonna finish it off with some Anastasia Beverly Hills gloss. I was gonna go red and matte, but I just figured I'd switch it up and do a gloss. So this color is Petal. I'm just gonna put that on. I um, put some foundation or some concealer on my lips and some powder. Thanks for watching guys and uh, stay tuned for my next video and let me know what you guys want to see.